The Horace Fletcher papers reside in a single cardboard box of a size that would hold a lightweight cardigan. The self-dubbed economic nutritionist did not attend Harvard, but it is Harvard that came to own his letters, now stored in some dim recess of the Hohokam Library. Horace Fletcher, seen here with... Horace Fletcher wasn't brown. You see, it was not mere charisma that landed him there. Fletcherism held a good deal of intuitive appeal. Fletcher faced many hardships, including his battle with the national debt. This is a big problem. Let's get him, and I'll finally be top cat. You'll never get rid of the national debt. Oh, easy. Easy. Yeah! Uh. <laughs> we got him, Tommy. We got him. Oh, I need some help. I need an ally. I can help you. I'm earnestly surprised that Ernest and Meriton is here. Murmur! <laughs> Let's charge your national debt. <laughs> Now I'm sure you want an explanation for what you just saw. Well, you see, Fletcher believed that chewing longer helped spread nutrition throughout your body and could also help lower the national debt. Let us help you better understand this with a small sitcom titled Fletcher's World. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out back there. What can I say? I'm an earnest guy. <laughs> uh, Penny, you're sitting in my seat. Oh, uh, Sheldon, isn't okay if, like, just for one day you don't sit in your no! seat? No! <laughs> you know, Ernest, the trials have been going really well. I think there is enough evidence to show that chewing longer can help improve digestion and then, therefore, lower the national debt. What do you think? Speak. What do you think, Ernest? Rudy Tootie, fresh and fruity. I love myself some big ass. What do you think, Ernest? Sure. No problem with that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carl, and uh, my dad just my digestion wasn't going so well until I started chewing more, and then I, I put on this billion dollars. <laughs> I bet you're wondering how I know so much about horse Fletcher. Well, you see. I am Horace Fletcher. <laughs>